The church is in my DNA, and I'm especially proud to be a member of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. So with the graciousness and consent of Pastor Moore, <laughs> I selected my church home, Vernon, Fam Vernon Chapel, for this all-important announcement because it encompasses the crux of my campaign and the centerpiece of what I wish to bring to the office of mayor of the city of Flint. When elected mayor, although the Flint Community Schools, it won't be an official part of my responsibility, I feel we have a moral obligation. And I think I'm gonna say that again, we have a moral obligation to partner with our school district. You know, we've got to improve the education of our, of our children. It's extremely, extremely important. You know, I, I was proud to please my parents as I went through college and went through graduate school and got my PhD in psychology. So as a clinical psychologist, I've spent my entire career helping children at risk, youth at risk, adults at risk, and families at risk. So as mayor, I feel uniquely qualified to help lead a city at risk. This used to be one of the wealthiest communities in the country. Yeah. And, and that's why I appreciate the work of Congressman Kildee in securing the hardest hit fund to help eliminate neighborhood blight. But a Weaver administration will make it a priority to have balanced investing in all parts of the city. You know, creating new housing development and driving re neighborhood rehabilitation. We can't just tear down, we've got to build up. You know, the negative imagery that engulfs the city, you know, it's taken its toll on our people. I've been impressed with the hundreds of people who month after month toil on the battlefield, the many neighborhood organizations and the scores of block clubs who have put forth tremendous efforts to enhance the quality of life in our neighborhoods and communities. But let's face it, our community's image has been battered and it's been bruised. And as mayor, I will work diligently to return that image back to the positive side of the spectrum that it used to be. The work of the, the many volunteers and the focus groups that helped develop the, the city's master plan, it's a valiant first step in that direction. But the real work starts with investment. The real work starts with leadership to make sure the work of the plan gets done. You know, so I'm uniquely qualified to lead that effort. I will be sturdy in my efforts to get the people of our city to believe in themselves once again. The esteem of this community has been trampled upon by the succession of emergency managers this city has endured and their concern for only the dollar and not the people. Yeah. You know, under their rule, our voices have been silenced. I will give voice back to our people. When I'm elected mayor, I'm gonna call upon everything I have within me to restore hope, to rekindle spirit in our community, to restore hope and faith in one another, and to reassure our people that with our collective will, that we will not only survive, but we will thrive. I wanna be a coalition builder. This is we, not me. And we're all in this together. To our faith community, we call upon you as a source of refuge, strength, and renewal. We're all in this together to the corporate and business community. I pledge I will be a partner in investment in our community. As a business owner, I fully understand the plight of our business community. So again, we're all in this together. To the labor community, we understand the value of your history and your work in our community. We are together. To our youth, as mayor, I will not only be a role model, but a resource, a listening ear. As a parent and as one who has worked with youth and young adults, I understand your trials and tribulations. We are in this together. To our community organizations, you're, you're the safety net that prevents many 
in our community from falling through the cracks. As mayor, I look forward to working with our county government and the various cities, townships, and villages that make up our region. So not only are we all in this together, but we all play a part. A man that I admire greatly, Dr. Martin Luther King, once stated that our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And that's why I stand before you today, because the current mayor, although rendered powerless by the state takeover of our city, he's rendered himself silent. He remains silent about things that matter. And in doing so, he, he abdicated his position as mayor of this city. The mayor is supposed to be the elected leader of the city. So I'm just gonna give you my humble opinion. When he fails to speak on behalf of the people of this city, when he becomes fearful, when he becomes scared of speaking truth to power, it's time for a change. So as I stand before you in the sacred house of the Lord, I'm reminded of the prophet Ezekiel. And like Ezekiel, many have asked, can these dry bones live? And they're talking about Flint, can these dry bones live? You know, the dry bones of hopelessness, the dry bones of disunity, the dry bones of disinvestment. You know about the valley of the dry bones? Can these dry bones live? Well, I believe this city can be vibrant again. I know it looks like all hope is gone and all those spirits are low. I believe that these dry bones can live. I believe this city can come back. while we witness high water rates, water we're paying for and can't use, while we witness the lack of job creation, and while we, you know, crime is running at a rampant pace, I remain firm in my conviction that this city can come back. So with your help and your prayers, I believe these dry bones can live again. So I ask you to join with me. Pray with me, work with me, like God told Ezekiel to prophesy to the four winds. I'm going to prophesy to the north side, and I'm going to prophesy to the south side, and prophesy to the east side, and to the west side, you know, and together we can breathe life back into our city once again. Thank you. God bless you. Flint. I'm doing we and I'm caring about Flint, so let's do this.